<laughs> Good morning, everyone. <laughs> Welcome to the Big Shake. My name is Steve Farragher, and I'm in hospital. Uh, and it's the it's nearly two weeks. It's weeks since I had the operation. So I uh, had my heart sorted out. Um, definitely be doing a follow up to this. So I've got a bit more about the arse operation. But, uh, <laughs> I'm actually, it may, it may not sound it, but I'm actually feeling and looking, sounding much better than it did before. Um, no school today. <laughs> but I've been getting a shave every day, so that has helped matters. Um, using an old, uh, old ball brush. Future, which has got a aster in it. Uh, we're finishing off with 368, 378, 378. And then uh, we're going to have a little bit of a uh, locky tan bow cream. So I've been in here since, uh, I've been in here a long time actually. They, 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 they bring you in weeks and weeks before to get you, make sure that you're in the right condition to get this operation. And um, so for a bit you don't do anything, and then all of a sudden the, the things start happening. So midway through the second week, just turn that up a bit. Midway through the second week, the doctor um, gives you a little bit of an explanation of what they're going to do to you. I'm, like, I'm not really sure why I'm able to tell you this. It's called you know, don't smoke much, don't drink at all. And uh, <coughs> basically got on with my life, I thought. 57 years old, all of a sudden, things can come crashing down, can't Which is exactly what happened here. So I went from being what I thought was reasonably healthy for my age. I'm going to start off by... I'm going to look at the scar as well, because uh, <coughs> I think if you see the scar, so I've learned about the operation, puts things into perspective. Um, and also called Bro Green in Liverpool. The thing about Bro Green is it, it's it's like a regional, it's a regional heart hospital. So instead of having uh, heart specialists in all the hospitals in Liverpool, they put them all together. <coughs> so this covers like most of the North Wales. Uh, bits of Lancashire. You got all sorts of people in there, along with all sorts of problems. So it become very good at it. <coughs> this is the f this is the first uh, sharp astro blade I've had ever time I've done one. There's been no astro blades. They've got millions of astro blades in the house, and. Uh, Today, it's the first time I've used a sharp one, and it's uh, slowly it's come through. I didn't bring a scuttle either, so I'm sort of uh, <coughs> lathering on the side. This is it. Okay, so we're on for the second pass now. You nearly die. It changes your perspective on a lot of things. You just think to yourself, well, <laughs> if I hadn't done, done this, this wouldn't have happened. I think there's a thing to say. There's a man that started doing all the shaving stuff a couple of years ago. I wouldn't have had some just fantastic messages of people. About what's going on today. So, how am I feeling? I know I don't sound very well. It's a usual, usual chip or so. That's, that's my fatigue, really. To get a daily fatigue. Starts off when you're going to feel quite chipper, and then <coughs> as 
and they wear as well. They tend to do less and less. Which is actually bad for you. So. So while I was waiting for the operation, I was quite, it's quite good being able to go on YouTube and listen to people, especially doctors, talk about what they were going to do, what the procedure was. So the procedure seems <coughs> not routine, but at least, at least straightforward. So I wasn't sort of too worried about that. The only thing that I was worried about was. Um, <coughs> Coming up to 19 years and not drinking. So I've been sort of been sober for 19 years. I was like worried that the uh, the thing might set something off and it sort of did, the anaesthetic. I um I had to wait a long time to get over the anaesthetic. And to and one extent I was actually hallucinating. Right. They were giving me painkillers and I don't think I've got over the uh, the actual time from the operation, the anaesthetic. So I ended up sort of started imagining there was a film crew in the, in the place where I was recovering and they were making a film. It's about me, it was got to make health. It was uh, it's a nice smooth shape. That. Um, it was about um, <coughs> it was a Proclaimers album which has been turned into a musical called Sunshine on Leith and it's going to sound a bit mad this but it was like whenever my, my attention was like drawn away I knew it wasn't but <coughs> I had problems sleeping at night because it, because I couldn't tell what time it was uh, you know, so I sort of lost touch with reality, and um, it's someone like me who's always in touch with reality, always conscious, it was quite, uh, quite alarming really. And uh, at one point, Sheila thought I had, had some sort of stroke while I was under the anaesthetic because I wasn't eating very well. Uh, I was digging, digging away at food that didn't exist, trying to show food in my mouth that didn't exist. Um, I was very argumentative as well. I think I could see the very argumentative. Uh, staying a bit longer actually. But, above all else, come out of it alive. So, what did they have done? I had the triple heart bypass. Well, it's not a triple heart bypass. As you can probably see, it's actually. What they do is they slice you open, they slice and dice, and then uh, once they've got you open, they do whatever they want to you. <coughs> once you don't look at my heart, <coughs> they found out that they did it. They needed six bypasses, which meant it was a six tuple bypass. They call it, they call it a six cabbage. <coughs> And um, so that, uh, that bit's not really, well, not really sore, believe it or not. It's a bit uncomfortable, it's not sore. Uh, and your heart doesn't hurt inside. Some of these things where you feel like you're having a heart attack or something. So, there they are. I'm fighting fit. El Presidente is back, just about. And, um, <coughs> be back on the internet soon. Done a couple of times, but uh, since I've lost a little bit of my internet skills, don't seem to be able to type as well as accurately. So you start writing something, and you think you've written something nice about something, and uh, it's that's very part of gibberish. So it's. Uh, Believe it or not, I look better than I did. 
I'm going to be keeping this up as well over the convalescence. So, let me just wash my face down. That's that done. Wipe your face off. And now I've got some hair. Put some hair to shave off. Put your hand forward now. Leave the needle in your Guys, so that's it, big shave finished, uh, big shave in the hospital finished, post operative. See us all in a um, couple of days, I'm not sure the wound's getting better, and we'll also talk a little bit about how I feel. <coughs> I don't think the voice is anything to do with the operation by the way. Okay, ta-da.